look, I have a new microphone today. Let's see how this goes. In this video, I'm going to continue to talk about improving the performance of Red Star by looking at RAM myths and misconceptions potentially. Because you see, there's all kinds of information because there's all kinds of configurations for your RAM. In this video, I'm gonna cover two versus four DIMMs as well as dual versus single-sided RAM modules. I am the Graying Tech, a gaming insider. If you would like to learn how to improve your gaming performance, start now by clicking that subscribe button. So the first thing that I want to test and something that you hear a little bit frequently is two sticks are better than four sticks inside of your system. So let's look at our default scores. This is what I was getting with four sticks of Corsair. You can see right down here, this is tuned at least to some degree in order to get better performance out of those RAM modules. So you can see I was getting around 54,000 for my read and write and copy was around 52. My latency was 61.7. Now these are the four numbers that you're going to need to keep in mind. The L1, L2, L3 cache, that is CPU. Those might change based upon how good your RAM is performing, but really I'm gonna focus on how the memory itself is performing. So first thing that I'll note here, our latency has gone down with two sticks. Now this is more or less to be expected. There's less work to be done in order to coordinate these, so there's less delay in between. But one of the more disturbing things is all of my other metrics have gone down as well. My read speed is lower, my write speed is lower, my copy speed is lower. Now let's compare that against our time spy extreme scores. You can see here 9,723. Now this is the default score. This is the four sticks of RAM inside of the system. This is the 2x score. So this is going to be the two DIMMs inside of the system here as well. So we went up by at least 100 points, which is interesting considering our copy and our write speeds were significantly lower with two DIM. Let's do another comparison. Let's compare two sticks of Corsair, which is running single ranked, against two sticks of the G skill, which is running dual ranked. Now, in order to make this a fair comparison, I did adjust the G skill down so that it matched the overall performance characteristics of the Corsair RAM, which should make this a fair comparison. As you can see right here, we have 16, 9, 16, 36, 16, 9, 16, 36. So the numbers on the read are roughly the same with a slightly higher boost. The write speed though is significantly higher. And our copy has also increased. Our latency, though, is much higher. Overall, this is even higher than the default. Will this actually lead to worse performance? So we're comparing 9869 against our G-Skill store of 9949. So in both of these instances, there does appear to be some level of truth that running two sticks of DIM, dual channel, in theory, is going to give you better CPU performance while trying to play games. Now you know I'm not gonna leave it there. You know I'm going to bring up Cap Frame X and show you actual game benchmarks. So here is our Borderlands runs. You can see two sticks of G-Skill is on the lower side, but the two sticks of Corsair was on the better side. Interesting. Water was right there in the middle. Let's take a look at Far Cry 5. Two sticks of G-Skill on the lower side, especially the one in 0.1 percentiles. Wonder what happened there. Two sticks of G-Skill on the higher side. Lastly, we have Hitman. Now Hitman, G-Skill is actually on the top with two sticks of Corsair and then ultimately water. So where does that leave our hypothesis that we're testing today? What I would say is two sticks are likely going to be the best that you can get. So if you are building a gaming rig, try to focus on just using two sticks. Difference between single ranked and dual ranked, honestly, it doesn't appear to be that significant. So if we look at these across the board, our average XPS for Hitman did increase. 
with those two of G skill, but we had more stuttering. The same thing occurred here with Far Cry 5. The average FPS was lower and we increased stuttering. With Borderlands 3, we did have those same two sticks with a tighter grouping for stuttering with the G skill not showing up as well. So from my standpoint, it would look like single rank probably is the way to go if you can find it, at least with this experiment. Now, I will say I will continue to use the G scale because that's the higher performing RAM that I have. But this might be one of those things that you might want to consider in your system, whether or not it is dual or single ranked. The problem with that, though, is 16 gigs per DIM typically is dual ranked. Eight gigs is single ranked. So you're kind of just stuck with how they're already configuring these RAM DIMMs based upon how much memory capacity you're trying to buy. So the testing itself showed that two DIMMs are better than four. Single-sided might be better than dual-sided in some instances, but one thing is for sure. Actually testing with games and looking at game performance is probably the best thing that you can do to try to figure out and dial this stuff in. In the next video, I'm going to cover what happens when you are trying to tighten the timings on a piece of RAM and a new method that might save you a lot of trouble and heartache if it actually works. When that video posts, you can check it out right here.